watching out for you. This cougar spent hours in a tree inside a Portland neighborhood. Wild officials first tranquilized it, then they euthanized it. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Dan Tilkin. Now, Jeff and Kelly are off for the holiday. We sent Joel Iwanaga to ask the tough question tonight. Exactly why did the state have to put that big cat down? Joel, what did you learn? Dan, Dan, good evening to you. Wildlife officials tell me they had no choice but to put this big cat down because it lost its fear of humans. They had to euthanize it as opposed to relocating the animal. That cougar found in this tall tree behind me where it stayed for hours. I see a lot of people out here on 4th of July. To see one in the city is just probably once in a lifetime. <laughs> Neighbor Mike Carnavali had no idea what was up in his tree in his backyard. My dogs are barking up the tree, and I kept looking up the tree, and I'm going, what? I thought there was a squirrel up there. I don't see him, though. But then he realized this animal was hardly a squirrel. A cougar in the tree. Even before the 110-pound cat scampered up this tree. He's in the tree. He's in that tree right over there. Neighbors say this is the same cougar they've been seeing for days. I see a, a big cougar. Run right in front of our car as we're driving 148. It's pretty crazy, actually. And for nearly four hours, the cougar stayed in the tree. It's about one degree over. Until state wildlife officials tranquilized the feline. There you go. Yep, yep, there, 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 there it is, there it is. And watch closely. You can barely make out the big cat falling. Well, it's exciting, 4th of July. He was laying up there the whole time, like he wasn't really aggressive or anything like that. So he just laid right there and then fell down. The cougar was then put in this cage before it was taken away almost immediately. While neighbors describe a docile animal, wildlife officials tell me by phone they euthanized the cougar this evening, saying it posed a threat to human safety. It was amazing to see it. Claiming it lost its fear of humans. Even relocating it, they said, would be improper. But some neighbors feel the cougar should have not been killed. It's nice to see, a, you know, lion kind of that group, you know, to be in your neighborhood. And it doesn't happen all the time, once in a while. It, it, it's a good one. While others agree with the state's decision. There was a big concern, you know, for my own safety and public safety. Picnic, yeah, <laughs> all my neighbors. <laughs> a neighborhood stir, making for an Independence Day these folks won't soon forget. It's pretty wild out here. Yeah, a lot of excitement here out this afternoon. I'm told the next step is for a veterinarian to perform a necropsy to see if this cougar had any, any diseases. We, of course, will keep you up to date. Reporting live here in Northeast Portland, Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Dan